I purchased a stand from Harbor Freight and then I bought the lower roller assembly so this table saw can move around. Then I put the box over it so I wouldn't get any overspray on it. Then I reorganized the tools so that I could keep it here because I'm running out of space to put stuff. But I put all my garden tools here and I was having trouble figuring out how I was going to lock them in place. Then I came up with two screws. Can tilt this thing here, this little piece of wood, and then I can get them out. And then that's just enough to hold them in place by putting it back like that. All my oils back there, my fire hydrants, all the different things I need. I also wanted to show you what I have been doing with the alternator with a motor attached to it. The flywheel is actually on the, what do you call it, the uh, protrusion that comes out. I have I had to use a sleeve to make it the rotor fit on there, and it's a Missouri Wind and Solar uh, rotor. And then the back part, of course, is a 48-volt stator. Then I also not only used this off the original bridge rectifier, but I added three more wires to an additional bridge rectifier, and it seems to increase the output. Um, everything that goes on here is uh, experimental, of course, but it seems to be helping when it's you know when it's shady outside or there's no sun and my solar panels don't put any power into the batteries because I'm using my batteries to charge my bike, and all these <coughs> batteries down here are being charged with two inverters that come off those two batteries. The Dini motor I've worked on, I've rebuilt, <clears throat> but for some reason it's not working. There's a short somewhere. Once I find that, I'll be able to use that to charge the batteries as well off a solar panel. But yeah, this is coming along. Let me run this for you. Right now it's running at 41 volts AC and it puts out a little under 14 volts DC to the batteries in which that's what an alternator does but this is a 48 volt alternator like I said with two bridge rectifiers and two separate inputs into the batteries in the winter I can let this run longer because it's colder it doesn't overheat and also I can add more magnets and increase the uh, output when there's no sunlight. I also made it to where I glued the stator to the rear part of the alternator so I could pull it on and off as I please, add and remove magnets according to the temperature. I don't think it's over unity, but the fact that I'm only pulling 41 volts of AC and I'm charging batteries makes this a more of a rapid battery charger than over unity as far as I can tell. But to keep experimenting with what can I do to make things work better. And that's what I'm trying to do.